Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Pichu! And welcome back to A Crick of Man. Now, last we left off, we are now Paul and Marion. Looking for David. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That are you, David? Who's there? What are you doing there? A sissy! A, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Man, the hell was that? Ooh, uh, that was sissy. We'll save it. Uh, this one. Maybe this way? Nope. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> that really didn't any direction. Someone else! David? Hey! Who are you? It's D! Yo! The hell? What are you doing all here all alone? Hey! He's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Oh, they're telling him to go save David. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Ooh. <laughs> I like where this is going. Oh wait, I have, I have a feeling I'm... Is David down here? No, he's not. That's weird. That's where I left him. Before they became Paul and Marion. Oh wait, there's another guy. Is he on the roof? I wonder if he's on the roof. I hope he's not on the roof. Oh, just... There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. A kid? D don't tell me a kid's wandering here. Does that mean Fluffy? He found a crooked fence upon a crooked style. He found a crooked cat, which got a crooked mouse. K kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a little crooked house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crooked this my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man will cry. And he wouldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time and he sighed. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! <laughs> what was with him? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Oh, she's not going with him? Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know that this isn't the time for that? Huh, Marion? What do you mean teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Oh. Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David, no jokes. 
so that's it, huh? Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for, uh, trying to spook ya. Don't worry, I'll find David. W wait I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting both of us, us both in danger. Please, just trust me. Alright. Please come back quickly. Right. Ooh. Ooh. This is getting, this is getting good. Just wait for me, David. I like this music. Oh, it's just Paul now. <laughs> License and cell phone. Music is being creepy. That's what they go in through here. Ooh. Also, I am going up to the roof. Ooh. David's gonna kill Paul? Is David gonna kill Paul? David! What are you doing out there? Oh. Okay, I have to open the door. There's David! David! Paul? Why- why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away! <gasps> no! David, you. I, I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. David. Holy oh, shit. David, uh, what? That? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. It's right here. Right now. David! Uh, take the gun? Why you... Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that! Stop! Let go! Just leave me be! Fred, I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop! Oh god! Huh? Uh... You shot Paul! Paul! Uh, uh. D did I? Did I just shoot you? I, I didn't. No, I, I really c killed. No, no, David, not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. As it's not your fault. David, you're not a bad guy. Oh no. I'm so sad. I'm sorry, Paul. Bad and four, not your fault. Dude. <sighs> my heart, my heart, you can't do that to me. You just can't do that to me. Uh. I'll just quickly skip through the garbage again.
have to say, this music is really beautiful, despite the situation. But dang, that's really heavy. I really, if anyone actually feels like that, I don't know, I don't even know how to. Don't do it. It's literally. It will hurt someone. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Persuade. I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best butt after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you. So, shut up. Who do you think you are? You wanna help me? Good things will happen? They never have. It was all for nothing. So I... D David, stop, don't say that. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. You couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. D David? You're... You're crazy! But I only realized... My last moments... Out of my si Out of my sight. Hypocrite. David! Oh, no. David killed himself in front of all. David. Goodbye, my friend. Oh. Oh, that a thing. If anyone thinks that that is the best way out, don't. Consider talking to someone first. And don't even consider that. That's rough. Oh wait, I have to punch him. <laughs> How is that gonna solve anything? That that's really creepy, I'm just saying. Punch. Ah! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> He's just gonna keep You damn monster! Get away from David! You're just beating him up. What? Hey! Ow! Stop! Stop! Ow! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to do fighting. That hurts! Stop, you moron! David! You back with us? Don't say it like, like I went nuts. Well, you kind of did. I've been saying from the start. Like hell. If that's the kind of thing you do, you do saying I have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now about the stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. Andy Smokey, smoking is bad, kids. Don't smoke. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult friend. Oh, my, that's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fan fanaticism. I don't always tell you that I see it. Don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Marion never believe me. Sheesh! Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met him. 
huh? That's ridiculous. Buffy, maybe, but Sissy and Dee wouldn't be here. Oh, D David dead. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Let's just listen, no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. He knew. From you and from the room. I'd have to guess that the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Probably why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Man, this, this game got deep. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know little from the stuff you left. Plus, that was all the stuff you could identify with. So, what could you think of a guy who's spitting- who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both, same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? CD and Fluffy. He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you. So he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He... he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address? I don't... and I don't think it's that far. Guess where I'm going? <laughs> I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not, but if something happens... I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever, so I'm going. <laughs> Just leave your best friend on top of the roof. David! You come back to us safe. I- I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. <laughs> well, you nearly did. Yeah, I know. Thanks. That's touching. Central Hospital. Paul. End. Oh, that's so sweet. Now back to being David. <laughs> Darn it! This is the place for sure. Could this be his house? Let's go in. What? Who the heck are you? Excuse me, can I have a second? What? Anson, you around? Going for a stroll? Er, no actually. Um, who is here? Did you, do you know them? Oh. You mean Mr. Macahon? Mr. Macahon? <laughs> Someone named Mechahun lives here? Not anymore. Mrs. Mechahun passed away last year. The house has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house it is. 
Oh yeah, I think he had a son. I wish he just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about their son? Nah, I never seen him. I only moved here for a few here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. <laughs> David. I see. That all? I gotta get home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. Uh, yes, thanks a lot. David? <laughs> What's your last name, David? The mailbox is Macahon. Must have been the resident's name. Well, that guy just told us. Nothing grows in the planter. What is rock? I can't go in their backyard. Darn it. Trash can! Trash can! Rock! Trash can! A garbage can filled with rotten waste. Ew. Kinda makes you wonder what day- oh yeah, his blessing is Hoover. <laughs> it's locked. Darn it! Do I have anything that would help me out? What? <laughs> that was a wild guess. I'll lock the door. Oh, shoe shelf. Lots of musty women's shoes. Oh, that sound. Holy sheesh. They are close sitting in the water filled washing machine. Ew. Mold. Oh, water leaks. Broken mirror. Feels like it was struck with something. Fragments of the broken mirror. The shelves are lined with hair styling products with face lotion. Ew. The bath water is muddy. It smells bizarre. Why do you keep smelling this stuff? Pieces of shatter plate. Shatter plate. I can't get past shatter plates apparently. <sighs> Ooh, there's no stairs. That's never good. Broken teacup. Chair. Scrap from a notebook. I called the rhyme of the crooked man. All I could do was live in a crooked house with a crooked cat and a crooked and a mouse just as crooked. It was the same way. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. Topple chair. Davy has a big crack on the screen. Somebody just went insane and ravaged this place. Not much room in the refrigerator. Of course, it's all gone bad. Darn it. I'm pretty sure David was hungry by now. The stove is stained with burns and rust. Garbage can is filled with rotten waste. Ew. The shelves have tools and cleaning equipment. The shelves are full of old junk. Cardboard boxes. Scrap from a notebook. The hotel, the school, the hospital was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Red ink went set my heart and the end of my festering heart won. Part of the paper is torn. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind. Not even words. The floor is damaged. Well, no duh. What damaged it? Ooh. There's a big gash on the wall. Somebody just went crazy and just like broke this house. Broken mirror. Fragments. The broken mirror. The floor is damaged. Dresser is full of women's clothes. The drawers are half open. Closet door is half open. There are coats set inside. Ooh. There's a strange voice coming from on from the radio. Drawers are open. It's full of women's clothes. Found a scrap from a notebook. Why, why, why? No, 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 no. Top old clothes rack. 
Wow, this guy just kind of went insane. Let's keep moving. It's all full of trash can. There's a few pieces of trash inside. Okay. Ooh, look at that calendar. A sooty fireplace. Close oh, nice. An old telephone. Call your mother. The calendar for last year, there's a big X on it. Hey David, does this remind you of anything? It's called your apartment. The painting is falling on the floor. It must have been hung on the wall before. It's early morning outside. Got a scrap from a notebook. Add a cigarette. I need to smoke. Black covered notebook. The rule on this notebook matches the scraps I have. Combine all the scraps. Got a notebook. There's a name on the back. Duke. Duke McCahan. Ooh. <laughs> Top or clothes jacket. Man's jacket is on it. <laughs> Trash cans full of crippled paper. Oh, I wish I hadn't picked that up yet. Pile of books on the wall. There are many men aren't many clothes in the closet, just a few men's coats and suits. Oh my goodness, stop crying! There's almost nothing in the desk. A deflated volleyball for on top. I thought that was a flower for real. <laughs> yeah, I did not think that was volleyball. Oh dear. Is he crying? What do I do? Crooked man. I I can't end up like you. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end. Are you kidding me? It's another fight sequence. I died. So, note to self, don't just stand there and get your <laughs> the out of the house. You yeah. load. Okay. He just, the cricket match just went crazy. Why do you keep screaming every time you get near me? Oh, jeez, I can't get hit at one more. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. Do I lose health every time he screams? Oh, that's annoying. I do lose health every time he screams. That is not fair. I'll leave me alone. Leave me alone, you big bully. Are you kidding me? Five health every time the cricket man screams.
screaming and just come at me. Ow. Are you kidding me? I'm doing better though. Scare you! Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Gonna take me forever. Stop hitting me! That's not even fair, I can't move when you're screaming. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone, you big bully. I shot him a lot of fun. I really want to finish the game in this video. Oh, prick! Yes! Finally! Finally! Shut up, crooked man. I'm not going to be like you. You failed to catch me. Can't we stop with you, so as much misery as I encountered, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So, be gone! Be gone, demon! Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm a save. That was stupid. There's a door to the attic. You might be able to pry it open. Up a door. Oh. Oh, there's a shadow. Duke. He hung himself. That's really sad. Duke, you, you detested me. Though I lived in such, such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. So, you wanted to drag me down, take me with you. 
but you didn't. But didn't you want to be saved deep down? So you called me. You called me? No, that's not right. You wanted to help me. To tell me don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place. So... Now, you can rest in peace. Oh. Watch ending. Wow, it must have been rough, David. Finding a corpse on your trip? But it sounds like it ended up alright. I'll go make some tea. He was beaten by the, he was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. Did you fart? Jeez, cat. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I felt like he was I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. But all this hadn't happened. I think sooner or later I'd take the same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always oh, such an easy target, aren't ya? That's why I got dragged into this. It's fine. The crew man is gone. Hello? Huh? Uh, okay, I'll head- uh, I'll head right there. David, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're going to have to do the operation. T take my bike, it'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't start. Don't sit here. Don't sit there staring. Oh. Doctor. Doctor. Mom. Mom's condition? To be honest, this is rather risky. Moving with tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor. Please, my mom. She, she's the only family I have. Please. Find us. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. I will stare at this corner while I wait. Doctor! Mom? Mom? The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. David? Mom! Mom! Oh, thank God! You woke up! You really... I felt like I was in the dark... I was in darkness. I was scared. Screaming. I must have worried you. All those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom. I was so unhappy. I was just struggling to be happy. 
But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed. After all the hardships I'd given her, I foolishly doubted that I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I. Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say that, to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived straight, a straight and honest life. This is a quick one, too. I was so proud of you. Being this, you as a son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on sad things. And I'm sure you'll notice that all their happiness are hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sh sure, just a second. Why else, Brad? Here you go, Mom. Oh no! Mom? Mom? His mom died. Oh god. Oh no. She got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. She tricked him. She didn't want to see him. She wanted. She wanted. Didn't want him to see her die. Oh my gosh. Horrible. So sad. If I'm going to live without blaming myself, those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer. If I can be smiling in the end. David. Marion? Why are you... Shirley, why are you? <laughs> hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you give David the coal? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> she like pull his cheek or something? Ahem, we're going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. David, I heard about your mother. It's good you came, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she'd be glad. So I bet she's glad. Thanks. David, I was anxious. I'm unsure of where I'm going. I'm worried that the road I'm walking will be full of twists and turns. Amy, I did need your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but... David? Is it okay? If it's okay with you, would you like to... D David? I'm sorry. Please don't cry. Oh, <laughs> She's trying to make me... No, I'm not sad. I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed, and I just lost my only family. I'm just so happy you came back. Oh, It's okay, Shirley. However off-kilter things get, we'll set them straight. I promise you. David. Oh. Know what I think? 
The crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Good and bye bye, Blackbird. Oh my god, <laughs> I was so, so sad and so happy, oh my goodness, literally all of these emotions just like swirling around right now, holy crap, that ending, his mom sent him to go get water so that he wouldn't see her die, oh. Oh my goodness, that is extremely sad. I'm feeling that Sissy, D, and Fluffy were just dead all along. Seeing as though um, Paul could see him and Mary couldn't. And he sees it. I keep hitting my microphone. I'm sorry, the sound is weird. And, oh my goodness. And then the guy, holy oh, crap. You can see I really like this game. I really do, I like games like these. Oh. Thank you for playing the Cricket Man and congrats on the good ending. This is an extra page, you'll lose a page if you quit. So I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. Ooh. Player. I'll save here. About the second playthrough. The door that to the top leads the second playthrough. There's not there's no change of stories, battles, or choices, but some events near the ending change. Please try it if you're interested. Second play will be indicated. Playthroughs three and up will have no changes. Okay. What the series? This sounds the crooked man, but I hope you like this. But I'd like to make a series of similar games. I hope that you might play them when they come out. They'll be available on my blog. About the game. The impetus of the game is uh, yeah, a strange event that happened to a friend of the author. Writing it all would be too long of a story, unfortunately. It may be available on my blog. This game is less scary than most of my, than my last game, Paranoiac. I, I should probably play that. But I consider having more action in this one. The author will be delighted if you enjoy it. Again, thank you for playing. Ooh. Well then. Uh. I guess I will end this here. Since I don't think you guys will want to see me play through it again, I might play it through it on my own for the second playthrough. But, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I love this game so much. Loved it to pieces, it was amazing. Some of the battles were kind of irritating, but it was just amazing. I definitely recommend it. Anyway, like uh, in outro, new outro, no end. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe to become a Pokemon today, and I'll see you guys next time, so bye! あの